Hans, the floor is yours. First of all, I would like to thank the College of Technica to arrange all this and all the work that has been put through this. Um, you've been doing a great work and I'm very happy that you are willing to take over the TA3 network. Um, TA3 has existed since 1995 and lots of things have been going on since then. Um, I think that uh, TA3 is a fantastic network for sharing experiences, for developing uh, new projects, and for me also a very important item, it gives you your personal life skills training. Um, I'll talk to you about uh, how the SDGs are extremely relevant for a um, future of our colleges, vet colleges, and also I think community colleges, and for that matter, all kinds of education. Uh, many years ago, uh, 2012, CDFOB actually defined what green skills are. And we see that this is still uh, existing today with that definition here. Um, I know that there are many discussions of what green skills are and what competences are, but anyway, this I think frames it all very well. <clears throat> um, education as a tool for the future, a tool that we cannot, uh, well, surpass or for any way in any way do without. It's uh, a way to secure our uh, world for the future. And this is also why we as a college uh, have uh, joined that uh, movement and working with a more, uh, towards a more carbon neutral environment. We have a sustainable perspective to our cooperation with industry and business. In our uh, educational programs, that is also the programs that we offer for international students. We have quite a number of students coming to our college, of course, not right now, but hopefully very soon again. And uh, we also uh, apply the uh, perspective to our daily routines of the college. Um, we are part of a uh, regional development and we think that in order to supply the uh, workforce with the right skills, we see ourselves as a major partner um, in our cooperation with industry and business. And we need to develop what is corresponding to the needs. <clears throat> One of the key items in when you're working with the SDGs will be the uh, discussion of the four dimensions, because that is how you see a totality, the social, the economic, the environmental, and the cultural sustainability. That is also what gives you what you could call life skills, as well as technical skills for your life, for your uh, workability and for how we can secure a future for our world. These are some of the uh, SDGs that we have focused on, making sure that they fit with what we put priority into right now. And this is based on the partnerships, based on quality education, you can work with the sustainable cities, responsible consumption, climate action, industry innovation and infrastructure. And that all leads to decent, to decent work and economic growth. <clears throat> Working uh, towards the UNESCO perspective with all this will secure these four dimensions, but that creates the rationale behind all of it. And I'm sure that 
<clears throat> when people consider education, we see we, we can go back many, many years and find what in German is called Bildung. There's a, uh, an English translation into learning, which is not quite covering the same. But anyway, this will cover what we should train our students. <clears throat> Give you a few examples of what we do with students. Students work with different uh, projects, case, and they uh, connect, align the uh, relevant SDGs to their work. These are boys that have been producing this lounge set out of recycled materials and have been doing a great job. We see girls that have won the regional championship and have worked with uh, recycling of materials for designing clothes. And again, aligning to the, in this connection, these six SDGs. I'm sure you're aware of boys wanting to ride fast cars. And here we see uh, six SDGs connected to three boys working for a new uh, fuel for cars, which is made out of seaweed. The blacksmiths have been producing an underground cooling could be for vegetables, but uh, you could also use it for beers or wine. We have examples of uh, into the culinary area where uh, the students have been working with the uh, nutritionists and the um, organizations behind uh, cancer fighting that uh, could uh, secure more healthy food. Um, we do uh, training programs for many. This is just an example. And we are sure that uh, many more examples can be produced around the world. As I know of many around the network, our networks here are also working with um, sustainable issues. But I think there are uh, three key issues that should be uh, addressed. How to be more sustainable, how to be more inefficient, and how can how to be more critical with what uh, we uh, consume, what kind of energy we um, consume in our uh, materials and in our uh, everyday life. These are issues that you will have to work with in your colleges. And in short, I could sum up saying that um, we do this to secure our license to operate, which also means that if we don't, we might not have our license renewed. And the return is that you get uh, new educator programs, you get a new organization, new ways of making money, and a new way of running your colleges. Thank you very much for your attention. Very interesting presentation. I have a question for you. You've been in your presentation, you've been showing us many beautiful examples of different activities with students where you've involved 
different different types of uh, fields of students in sustainable development activities. Do you have any international project or any student activity that is carried out internationally? Yeah, we have, until Corona hit us, we've had several hundred uh, foreign students that is from probably France, uh, Germany, but also from Austria, from the UK, uh, a few from the US and other countries in Europe coming to us. And the priority is always that we want to have projects or programs that have a sustainable content. Okay, so thank you very much. It's always good to know that you are open to international collaboration. And You're more than welcome. And I'm sure that our, our audience will be happy to know as well. Thank you, Hans. And